a four pole lap wound dc shunt generator has useful flux per pole 0.07 weber the armature winding consists of 220 turns each turn having a resistance of 0.004 ohms calculate the terminal voltage when running at 900 rpm if the armature current is 50 amperes so first let us draw the circuit of dc shunt generator so this is the dc shunt generator and in dc shunt generator the the generator current that is ia will supply for both load that is il and for the field that is if and this is the field which will have some resistance say rf and this is the terminal voltage v and this is the emf generated e plus minus and this is uh, armature resistance ra armature windings will have some resistance ra now we know that for generator the uh, equation of emf will be e is equal to v plus ia into ra you can also verify this by applying K kvl in this loop okay now we have to find first of all we have to find what is the emf in the question he is telling to find calculate the terminal voltage so we have to find this we can calculate our emf the armature current is given that is 50 amperes and the armature resistance we can calculate at as it is given that this each turn some 220 turns are there and each turn has a resistance of 0.004 ohms so we can calculate this also so let's first start calculating with e that is emf generated we know that the emf generated is n phi z p by 60a we have already seen this in previous questions so now a a is number of parallel paths so the number of parallel paths when lap winding is given as here whenever lap winding is given the number of parallel paths will be equal to the number of poles that is in this case four pole is given so a will be equal to 4 if wave one wave winding was asked so in wave winding the number of parallel paths will be always be equal to 2 okay so you have to remember this now the speed is given that is what is the speed 900 rpm is given flux per pole is given as 0.07 weber p is given that is number of poles that is four pole it is already given now coming to z that is z is total conductors so but the total number of conductors is not given but what is given the armature winding consists of 220 turns is given so the total number of turns total turns is given as 220 so number of conductors will be what so it take it takes two conductors it takes two conductors to make one turn this is for a single turn machine okay so please remember this it takes two conductors for making a one turn so in this question the total number of turns is given that is 220 turns are given so how many conductors x let this be x conductors we have to find the value of x so we can cross multiply so 220 into 2 is equal to x into 1 so x so x will be 220 into 2 that is 440 so the total number of conductors is 440 okay so i have substituted all of them in the emf equation and this 4 and this 4 gets cancel as number of parallel paths in lap winding is equal to the number of poles that's why it is 4 and this is 4 it gets cancel so i will get e as 462 volts it is emf it is emf so the units will be volts please remember this so the emf generated is 462 volts this value is 462 volts so coming back to here that is emf of the dc shunt generator now we have found out the value of e the our main task
the value of V that is terminal voltage and IARA is uh, IA is given and RA we have to find out that is given here that is each turn is each turn is having a resistance of 0.004 ohms that is armature winding consists of, consists of 220 turns and each turn is having a resistance of 0.04 ohms so total turns is 220 and each turn is having 0.04 ohms so what will be the total resistance of the turns if i calculate will be 220 into 0.004 which i will get 0.88 ohms so you can already see that it is a four pole lap wound dc shunt generator so lap wound means i already said you that the number of parallel paths will be equal to the number of poles and here in our case we have four pole so it will be four okay so now the equivalent resistance will be what so first of all for one path what will be the ra so ra per parallel path if i calculate so it will be 0.88 divided by 4 so it will give me 0.22 ohms so what about four parallel paths that is 0.22 ohms will be parallel in four parallel paths if i draw the diagram it will be like this okay just for simplicity i am drawing it and now we have to calculate the equivalent resistance no equivalent resistance will be what in parallel 1 by r equivalent will be 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 plus 1 by r3 plus 1 by r4 so either you can do this and find r equivalent that is our rab or sorry ra that is armature resistance or you can do like this as these are same identical resistances in parallel so whenever there are identical resistances in parallel the equivalent resistance will be that resistance divided by number of parallel paths that is 0.22 by 4 you can verify this also keep this as uh, keep this other side and verify it so 0.22 by 4 will be 0.055 ohms which is our armature resistance now we have calculated our armature resistance or in lab also you have seen this a and a will be written and you will uh, measure the value of armature resistance you will keep an ohmmeter that is multimeter here and measure it okay a represents the arm armature so here also this this only we are doing we are calculating the equivalent resistance of the armature winding so one winding will be there here okay this will be the motor armature and this will be the motor okay so just keep in mind the winding what it is it is wave wound or lap wound and in lap wound the number of parallel paths will be equal to number of poles and in wave winding sorry this is for lap and in wave winding the number of parallel paths will be equal to 2 so please remember this so now let us substitute in the value of uh, and in the equation of emf of shunt generator that is e is equal to v plus ia ra so e we got that is 400 and 62 volts is equal to v we have to find out plus ia into ra ia is given as 50 amperes and ra we have found out as 0.055 ohms so v will be equal to 459.25 volts this is our terminal voltage so we have calculated our terminal voltage we have determined the value of Uh, armature resistance we have determined the value of emf generated okay suppose in the question if was given and rf was also given now if he has to find the terminal voltage and suppose he have not given anything or maybe he have given this ra ia anything so we can find v we can see that this is a parallel 
armature is parallel also the field winding is parallel the shunt field winding is parallel so the same voltage ap appears across here across here also the same voltage ap appears so from ohm's law v is equal to i into r so i is if here and I, r is rf so from here also we can find out the terminal voltage v but in this question it was not given so have we have found out by this method okay thank you